This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. Given the areas of the three equilateral triangles, what is the shaded area? This is another Katrina Ag puzzle. And if you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, let's draw this perpendicular line and this perpendicular line. Let's copy the whole thing down here and let's focus on this trapezoid. It has this base right here and this base right here, and the height of the trapezoid is this distance right here. And then if we copy this trapezoid and draw this line here, that's gonna be the same thing as this line up here. And if we get rid of this area, we have two trapezoids right here. The second trapezoid is this one right here, and the third trapezoid is this one right here. With these three trapezoids, we can find the area of this pink triangle. It's gonna be the large trapezoid minus the two little trapezoids. This looks important, let's put a box around it. So now we gotta figure out all of these values. We gotta find the heights of our equilateral triangles and the bases of our equilateral triangles. Let's copy one of them down here. Since it's an equilateral triangle, all the angles will be 60 degrees. And I'm mostly interested in this one. And let's draw this perpendicular line and this line right here. This will cut the triangle in half. So the area of this 30, 60, 90 triangle is 4.5. And every 30, 60, 90 triangle has the side lengths in these proportions. If the shortest side is x, the hypotenuse is 2x, and the side opposite the 60 is x root 3. Here's the notes right here, and it's true for every 30, 60, 90 triangle. And now that we know the area of the triangle and all the sides in terms of x, we have enough information to solve for x. The area of the triangle is equal to 4.5. And then the base is equal to x, and the height is equal to x root 3. On the left-hand side, we can copy down the 4.5. And on the right-hand side, 1 half times root 3 is root 3 over 2. And x times x is x squared. In order to get the x squared by itself, let's multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of this, which is 2 over root 3. On the left-hand side, 2 times 4.5 is equal to 9. And that'll still be divided by root 3. And on the right-hand side, this will all cancel, so we have x squared. From here, we can square root both sides. On the left-hand side, the top and bottom will get their own square roots, and the square root of nine is equal to three. On bottom, the square root of the square root of three is the fourth root of three. And then on the right-hand side, since x is the distance, the square root of x squared is x. And now we've solved for x. The base of this 30, 60, 90 triangle is three over fourth root of three. And for the height and the place of the x, we can plug in three over the fourth root of three and then let's smush everything together. Let's change the square root of three into a fourth root of three times fourth root of three. And now one of these on both top and bottom will cancel each other out. So the height of this triangle is three fourth root three. And we can do something similar for these two. We can cut them in half and note their areas. And these will also be 30, 60, 90 triangles with the sides in these proportions. The areas of both the triangles will be one half base times height. We can plug in the, all the values that we know and simplify it, we get the values for y and z. So after we plug this in for y, the height right here is gonna be equal to the fourth root of three. And after we plug this in for the z, this height will be equal to two fourth roots of three. And then on bottom, we have a y, a y, and a z. These two y's are gonna be two over the fourth root of three. And this z is gonna be equal to two over the fourth root of three. I know it's kind of fast, but it's the exact same work we did before. And now we're ready to find the area of the pink triangle. It'll be this trapezoid minus this trapezoid minus this trapezoid. The area of the trapezoid is equal to the height times the sum of the top and the bottom divided by two. So let's do that for all three of these. The height of this trapezoid is all of this right here. And this plus this plus this ends up being seven over the fourth root of three. And then the height of this trapezoid is this right here. It'll be this 3 over 4 through to 3 plus half of this, which is 1 over 4 through to 3. And 3 plus 1 will give us 4 over the 4 through to 3. And then the height of this bottom one is this right here. It's also half of this triangle. So it'll be 1 over 4 through to 3 plus 2 over 4 through to 3. And that'll be 3 over 4 through to 3. And now for the tops and bottoms. The top of this one is this right here, which is 2 4 through to 3. And the bottom of this one is this right here. It'll be three fourth root of three. The top of this one is this right here, which is one fourth root of three. And the bottom is this right here, which is three fourth root of three. And then for the last one, the top is this right here, which is two fourth root of three. 
and the bottom is this right here, which is one fourth root of three. And now we can clean these up. Two fourth root of three plus three fourth root of three is five fourth root of three. And five fourth root of three divided by two is 2.5 fourth root of three. For this one, one of these plus three of these is four of these, and four divided by two is equal to two. And then for this one, two of these plus one of these is three of these, and three divided by two is 1.5. Now let's multiply all of these. This fourth root of three and this fourth root of three will cancel each other out. And seven times 2.5 is equal to 17.5. This thing and this thing will also cancel each other out. And negative four times two is equal to negative eight. And then this and this will cancel each other out. And negative three times 1.5 is negative 4.5. And now let's find the area of the pink triangle. It'll be 17.5 minus eight minus 4.5. And that's equal to five. Let's give it a label of units squared and put a box around it. The area of this pink triangle is five units squared. How exciting. I think this problem was brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, let's talk about brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. Going through Brilliant really feels like I'm putting together a puzzle. Every lesson is engaging and designed to build real understanding step by step. Whether I'm diving into a new topic or reviewing something I already know, Brilliant makes the process not only educational, but also enjoyable. To try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash antimath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.